This is question number 13 on the free response. It says, which of the following are correct uh, for the function f of x equals x squared minus x minus 2 over 4 minus x squared? So all these questions have to do with uh, graphing polynomials. So um, the first thing you want to do when you're graphing something to try to find vertical asymptotes, horizontal asymptotes, and that kind of thing is to factor out as much as you can. So let's go ahead and factor out the top first. This gives me a 2. To get a negative 1, I have to make this negative. So negative 2 plus 1 gives me a negative 1. And at the same time, negative 2 times 1 gives me a negative 2. So now I can rewrite that as x minus 2 x plus 1. And then the bottom is of this the is difference of squares. So that's of the kind uh, that goes like this. A squared minus B squared equals to A plus B A minus B. In this case, A is uh, square root of 4, so it's 2. And B is the square root of x squared, which is x. Okay? So remember that A is not 4, but it's square root, because 4 is a squared. So you gotta take the square root. So now when we convert that, we get 2 plus x, of 2 plus x, 2 minus x, and uh, we see that the x minus 2 and 2 plus 2 minus x are pretty similar to looking. To make it uh, the same so we can cancel it out, we just have to take a negative, num uh, negative 1 from here. So we could rewrite that into negative, and that negative 1 can go on the top and the bottom because it's just being multiplied by negative 1. So don't get confused by that. Negative x minus 2 x plus one and then two plus x and this is where we took the negative out of so we're going to switch the sign to get x minus two and now that it's in this form i could cancel that and that okay but when you cancel those don't just rewrite it as negative x plus one over two plus x without noting the significance of this cancellation in the graph so whenever you cancel something on the top and the bottom for a function that you're trying to graph, that means there's a hole at that point. So let's just go ahead and make a note. Um, let me rewrite this over here. So I'm going to say the final um, factor form is going to be negative x plus 1 over 2 plus x. But I'm going to make the note that there's a hole at x equals 2. So you can cancel them out, but you have to remember there's a hole because when you're drawing that graph, you can't uh, make the line just pass through it. You need to make a hole there. So the hole is at when x minus 2 equals to 0. And that's the same thing as saying x equals to positive 2. So now I've written that there. So I'm going to erase it here. So that's what it's become. So let's go ahead and go through each of the choices now. f of x has vertical asymptotes at x equals negative 2 and x equals to 2. So the vertical asymptotes are basically uh, when, here, when uh, the graph looks like Okay, at certain x's. So that's going to happen at x equal to negative 1. Or that's going to be, uh, sorry, my 0. That's going to happen when the denominator is equal to 0. So when your denominator is indeterminate, uh, in indeterminate form, that's when your vertical asymptote happens. So you have to set, for vertical asymptotes, you have to set 2 plus x equal to 0 the denominator. So then you get x equals negative 2. 
So basically, your, your vertical asymptote is only x equals negative 2, and so it doesn't include the positive 2 part. Remember, the positive 2 is actually a whole and not an asymptote, so that's important that we cancel it out. If we hadn't canceled it out, we would have thought this was correct, when in fact it's not. Now, for horizontal asymptotes, what we're looking for is the part of the graph that looks like this. It doesn't let things pass through. Um, so, the, to find the horizontal asymptote, we need to find uh, what happens to this function as we go uh, to infinity and positive infinity. Uh, positive infinity and negative infinity. Remember, for, for vertical asymptotes, you can never pass through, uh, through this asymptote. For horizontal asymptotes, there are exceptions where you can pass through as long as at this end, you're reaching the asymptote, and at that end, you're reaching the asymptote. So here, you see how we're kind of reaching that asymptote, we're not touching it. And let's say on this side, we have something that looks like... But then it's going to start to reach the asymptote at the end. So if you cross um, horizontal asymptotes, it's a little more flexible there. So we're looking for what happens when uh, one number of y, or f of x, we're going to reach as we go to positive infinity and negative infinity. That's going to tell me this asymptote. So let's go ahead and say the limit as x approaches infinity, that's going to be my asymptote y, uh, of negative x plus 1 over 2 plus x. So basically what you need to notice is that we're almost plugging infinity into the x's. Okay, so when you compare infinity to a number like 1, which is very small compared to infinity, you might as well just say you got infinity, and with a negative in the front. When you compare 2 to an, a number that's really, really large, it's almost like you just have this number. So in this case, we're going to approximate that this is almost equal to negative 1. Normally, you shouldn't divide infinity over infinity. But this, these are uh, just approximations. These infinities aren't actually what's there. So we're going to say that the vertical asymptote or the horizontal asymptote happens when y equals roughly negative 1, which is what choice Q says, and that's correct. And then finally, for choice R, it says graph the graph of f of x crosses the horizontal asymptote at x equals to 2. So as I said, horizontal asymptotes can in fact be crossed. It's a little exception. And this is asking, is it crossing it at x equals to 2? So luckily, we've already written something that happens at x equals to 2. And that is that there is a hole. Wherever x does not have any part on the f function. Because wherever it touches the f function, it'll be a hole. So actually, the graph doesn't cross at x equals to 2. So that is incorrect. And then something else you could do is plug in the 2 into there and, um, and see what y you get and to see if that y is the same y it equals to negative 1. So let's do that for a second just to make sure. So let's see what's happening at x equals to 2. Is it crossing? Let's say this is 2. Is it crossing the um, the horizontal asymptote? So over there we have y at x at x equals to two is going to be negative two plus one over two plus two. We're just putting two for x, and so that gives me a negative three over four, which is not equal to my horizontal asymptote. So it's actually not. Uh, even cro uh, close to being around this area. So it's not crossing at that point. Even if it was a hole, it's not crossing at that point. So that's incorrect. And the only correct choice is uh, Q, which would be answer, answer choice 